All right, well, good morning, everybody. Um, uh, sorry we couldn't get a better crowd out on Friday morning. Um, delighted to have all of you here. Uh, delighted to have all of you here. Um, we've been doing this now since last fall, and, and, and the crowds just keep getting bigger and bigger, and we're delighted by that. Um, the purpose of this series of seminars is to try and, and get some discussion going and, and get you thinking about um, where the where the music and entertainment industries are headed in terms of, of uh, non-traditional routes of, of career paths and, and opportunities. And so we've been bringing in a series of, of entrepreneurs in different parts of, of the entertainment industry. Uh, uh, in the past, we've had songwriters and, 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 uh, and, and others along the way. This spring, we've got a whole series of, of events set up for you that I think you'll find uh, uh, stimulating and interesting. And uh, so, uh, uh, we're delighted that, that, uh, that this is, uh, has gotten such a good response for everybody. My name is Jeff Cornwall. Uh, I'm the director of the Center for Entrepreneurship here at Belmont. Uh, I'm in the College of Business, uh, but I do play nice with all of you in the music industry uh, program, so uh, uh, we are a resource for you guys. Uh, we have all kinds of services that we can bring to help you guys who have the entrepreneurial bug and the entrepreneurial spirit. So if, if any of you do have uh, interest and, and questions and problems, uh, just shoot me an email and, and we'll, we'll set up a time we can sit down and chat. I see some of my students in here. Uh, good to see you guys here. All right, so today uh, we are going to be looking at uh, more of the visual uh, part of the industry. Um, I'm delighted that we have uh, people with us here today who I've had the chance to, to get to know. Uh, we have uh, Scott with, with Moon TV and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Um, uh, who I got to know through an organization in town called EO, which is Entrepreneur's Organization. Uh, it's an organization for uh, owners of high growth companies or, 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 or solidly growing companies, if you will. And uh, Scott's been active with that organization, and, and so I've seen him in several, several seminars we've done and, and in some of the parties we have along the way as well, too. Which is okay. Uh, we are a sponsor of EO, uh, the Center for Entrepreneurship here at Beaumont is, and, and so it's been a great relationship with us, and, and it's uh, how I've gotten to know Scott. Uh, the other guys, uh, well, there should be three of them, um, but as was often the case even in class, uh, Kurt's a bit late, but he should be here shortly. Um, our, our folks I've gotten to know uh, as a teacher, and uh, uh, these are alums who, who, when they were here, were studying video production and have since launched a, a couple of companies, the, the second of which has actually uh, gotten quite a bit of attention of late. Uh, it's called Alupa, and uh, that's what they're here to talk about today. Uh, Alupa um, is uh, more into the app world. Uh, Moot TV is more into the live performance world, although you do other things as well. So I'm gonna let them talk a little bit more about their history and kind of where they've been, and then we're gonna ask some questions about what they see going on today and tomorrow, and, and, uh, and hopefully allow plenty of time for you guys to ask questions as well. So let's we'll start with Scott. Scott, why don't you tell us just a little bit about how Moon TV got going and, and uh, how you got to where you are today. Um, uh, to the short version, I guess, would be I was touring with rock bands. Uh, the only thing I've ever discovered that I wanted to do with my life, and thank God I discovered something because I was a complete mess up until then was a touring with bands. I thought that sounded pretty cool. I ran into U2's road crew at a restaurant, ended up uh, finagling my way onto the Joshua Tree Tour, and uh, toured with bands for years, um, Stones, whatever. Uh, my boss was a huge country music fan, and he put me on Alan Jackson. I had no idea who he was. I did not want to move to Nashville. I did not want to work with Alan Jackson. But I came down here and discovered that Alan was a great guy. and. In pretty short order, discovered there wasn't any competition here really. There was one company, and when there's one company, they tend to get very lazy, and so they weren't very good to their clients, and they were very expensive. So I saw an opportunity and opened shop down here. Tell us a little bit about what Moon TV does. And you've got a couple different pieces in uh, uh, When you go to a concert and see video screens, my company designs the show sometimes. Sometimes a designer will bring a show to us. Uh, but we always provide the video screens and the people that uh, run the cameras and, and implement the system. So Brad Paisley, for example, has about two semis of video gear on tour with him, and that's all our stuff. And we have eight guys that travel with Brad and, and uh, put that stuff up every day. 
Very cool. All right, and then we also have uh, the, the Olympa gang here. Um, why don't you guys introduce yourselves and, and give us a little bit of history of Olympa? Uh, my memory, I was actually at Edge Hill Cafe this morning and I got a coffee with somebody and I looked across the street and remembered the conversation we had about these app things that you wanted to do. And I told you, you were, pretty much I just told you were nuts. Uh, but you did it anyway, so thank God you didn't listen to me that time. It seems to be the. Always the case. Always the case. <laughs> um, it was kind of interesting. Uh, Tyler and I went both to Belmont. Uh, Drew went to MTSU. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> out, out of black sheep here. But went to Belmont. Um, started a company. This is a small class at MTSU, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, started a, a company here. Uh, just going through the entrepreneurship program of uh, doing some video work and we're doing a lot of uh, music videos for uh, a lot of bigger clients and um, had a lot of fun doing it um, and stuff like that and we, we transitioned into the uh, software space um, kind of just um, randomly. We were, we were actually doing some working like actually kind of with Scott. Um, uh, with the client and they couldn't really afford to take all the gear out and stuff like that and uh, so we just made a device that basically put all the video content on the iPod and synced it all together and hit play and kind of went to all the video screens and all that at the same time all of Scott's equipment and stuff like that so kind of cool um, but um, we were out in Cupertino uh, talking with Apple and kind of showing them the device and we had a lot of people interested in it uh, mostly people like Grand Central Stations, a lot of clubs and, and things like that that do a lot of music videos, have a lot of screens, and it was great for them uh, to do something portable like this. And talking with Apple, and this is kind of before the whole iPhone app craze, and they were kind of like, hey, actually, you know, just kind of more focus on the software side. Uh, kind of got our heads wrapped around that, and, um, and so that's kind of how this came about. Um, we started as a more of a music entertainment company and uh, um, have apps out there. Uh, we did the Kenny Chesney app, which features like a no shoes radio. It's a 24 seven streaming station, not of just Kenny Chesney, but more of like island feeling music. Uh, a lot of cool different artists um, has this whole merch. You can swipe through all his clothes, order it right on there. Uh, all the tour date news, everything. It's kind of just a really neat community and something that will be expanding in time uh, every year and things like that. But before that, it was hard to go out. We went to people, um, into people's offices and having the video background that we have, it was kind of cool because we actually designed the whole app of what we wanted it to look and feel like. So we'd actually sit down in the office, hit play to these people and they'd be like, oh cool, and so our, our app is done. And it's like, uh, kind, of, kind of tricked you. Yeah. You know, it's not really actually made at all. So. But it was hard because at that time, you know, the, the whole app phase and stuff like that was really new. So the way to say, uh, are you legit, is to actually look and see if you actually, as a company, have an app in the store. Well, clearly not. We were just launching. So how do we have anything in the store? So that was always kind of like a, a downer because it would be like, oh, yeah, right. You got, yeah, you know, my, my cousin does this too. You know, like, yeah, right, you guys really do this. It's like, whatever. So we were like, we have to do something about this. We know that we can do this. So um, out of frustration, we just built basically a general uh, festival application. And uh, our goal all along was to do it, launch it for the CMA stuff here in town. We knew it, connections, and stuff like that. Well, we actually created an awesome partnership with Bonnaroo and that year, two years ago, there you go, now, now for Android as well. Uh, and Can you chase these now? Not yet. Come and see. All right. Um, so uh, we, we created this basic, art, uh, you know, festival application was able, you were able to quickly see every single artist at Bonnaroo, click in add them to a schedule because there's so, if, you, if you know anything about the festival, it's like 300 artists there all over the place. Uh, you know, you get a paper schedule and it rains the first day, it's ruined, you're done, like good luck, like you're just chilling out, I guess. Let's go. So this is kind of a cool way to organize it. Um, and it was really awesome. And then, you know, the, the next festival, uh, festival called us, uh, Rothbury, and they said, man, we want this too outside lands, 
and then it kind of just trickled into this, okay, cool, moving platform. Um, and you know, now we're off keeping those clients. And, 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 and Drew can kind of more talk to you guys on the business side of, of, of things, but um, the last thing that we are is a, is a development house, and I guess that's a, a lot of neat ways that we were able to grow, is uh, we don't, you know, people don't come to us. So Bonnaroo and Kenny Chesney's don't come to us as, uh, you know, build this for us. We want to do this. It's a, a um, you know, a more of a licensing and business development kind of. Drew can kind of take it from there and talk more about that. Yeah, I mean, what, I'll give you a quick run, run through. I, mean, I went to MTSU, obviously, the, the competition and music business program. But, uh, but uh, <coughs> yeah, my background, my, my first job out of college was at William Morris, the booking agency. I spent about two and a half years there and then uh, was out on the road with Gretchen, which is how I met um, Scott and Kurt and Tyler, because they all were running around uh, figuring out this video stuff. And uh, that's kind of how we, we got to meet up. And, you know, we decided to launch into this app stuff and figure it out. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting that we did shop, you know, as, a, as an entrepreneur, you're, you know, the, the hardest thing is to convince people that your, like your product is good and you know, the hardest thing in, in the market that we were in is we were having people saying, you don't have a product out there. Well, I mean, nobody has a product out there. So it's a very hard position to be in for us and the festival thing was a great, our first partnership with Honor, getting them in and getting them to trust that we, uh, to do something really well uh, was was very pivotal for us and kind of launched that platform for us. But yeah, we're not we're not a development shop. We typically go to companies with ideas and say, hey, we, we know how to make your uh, make an experience on mobile better. And typically they're like, cool, let's let's do it. There's not a lot of and most people when I mean I don't know if you guys I mean everybody comes up with ideas, but if you're a brand and you're running something, a lot of them really just don't understand it. And so we come in and try to help them understand it and think through it and then uh, through these guys, you know, just creative experience with videos, we're able to present something that's really cool and consistent with what they already have. So, so, a quick rundown of that. But yeah, we, a good example, we, we've been in entertainment for the past uh, two years and we just launched our non, our first non-entertainment uh, app. It's a company called, a company called Table Topics. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. I'll show it to you. I've got it here, but... Cool. But 